So by now you should have thought of three problems that you were interested in. For example, global warming, litter and negative effects of social media. For your project you need to pick one problem and then narrow it down for the subject of your project. To help you to do this you should follow the steps in the problem analysis cycle. This is the cycle. The first step is to take one of the problems that you are interested in, for example global warming, and then the second step is to ask yourself, is my problem too big? Is it too broad? If the answer is yes, then you should brainstorm more specific problems in that area and then return to the first step. If the answer is no, you can move on to the third step. The third step is to ask if the solution is already known to people. Is it common knowledge? For example, if your area of interest is smoking and you've narrowed down your problem to smoking in teenagers and you think that one of your solutions is to educate teenagers on the harmful effects of smoking, you have to ask yourself, is this solution known already? If the answer is yes, then you have to pick a new problem or a more original solution. The fourth step is to find out if there is enough research on your problem. If the answer is no, then you need to think of a new problem as you have to research your solution and eventually find a source to back it up. Equally, if there's way too much information, you might want to narrow down your problem further or pick a new problem altogether and repeat the problem analysis cycle. Now that you have successfully completed the first part of the problem analysis cycle, you need to ask yourself some questions. First, who is going to solve the problem? For example, parents, the government, engineers, will it be the teachers, will it be scientists? Secondly, how is the problem going to be solved? Is there more than one possible solution? You've already thought about this, but you should think of some alternatives. Also, ask yourself if this topic area is interesting to you. If it's not, then you might want to pick another problem as you're going to be doing a lot of research and spending a lot of time on this. Then ask yourself, or maybe your teachers or your friends and your family, will this topic be interesting to other people? For example, if your topic area is the strength of steel in suspension bridges, then this topic might not be very interesting to most people. So it would be a good idea to pick a new problem and return to the beginning of the cycle.